Alright, good morning. We are on our way to go pick up our load. It's Friday morning. Uh, we spent the night at JJ's truck stop just south of uh, Little Rock. Uh, yesterday went pretty good. We delivered our metal tubes yesterday. We, uh, I got there just a little bit late. So I missed my reload. I was actually supposed to load uh, yesterday afternoon, but I didn't get there in time. So anyway, they, they held it over for today, which is a good thing. Uh, we're picking up cable. Um, we got, uh, it's been a long time. I mean, like maybe five years since I loaded over here. So I don't remember exactly. I believe it's cable on reels. I don't know if it's the big reels of cable or if it's a bunch of little bitty reels of cable. But uh, we're picking up cable. Uh, the only the only thing that I have to worry about is I'm running out of hours. I, I really wanted to load this yesterday so that I could take today off to reset my clock for my hours. Uh, we only have 15 hours for today and tomorrow. Uh, but we'll get 10 hours back on Sunday so midnight Saturday we'll get 10 more hours back on our clock so we should be okay to uh, to make it over there uh, I went to Walmart yesterday stocked up on groceries so I got that took care of uh, the only other thing I need to do this weekend is laundry so I gotta find a place somewhere to do some laundry uh, see what else is going on uh, don't have a reload yet out of Virginia but not too worried about it because I'm running out of hours I don't know the exact time that I'll be there so uh, we're gonna look for something on Tuesday out of Virginia um, yeah yesterday went pretty good it was a little windy I had to untarp outside and the wind was blowing pretty hard but uh, we got it done uh, Hopefully the rain's over with. It uh, looks like today's going to be a nice day. So, uh, I'm just looking here. We got uh, another couple miles till we get to our exit to where we got to go pick up our load. Uh, we got three stops in Virginia. So, uh, we're going to try to, they're all pretty close together. I think the longest distance between the two of them is 75 miles. So we're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to get uh, all three of them off on Monday, and I don't think it'll be a problem. It should go pretty good. So, but uh, yeah, we'll get this loaded up, and then uh, I think I think I'm gonna try to make it over by Memphis. Uh, and we'll get I gotta get some fuel, and then we'll, we'll make it over to Memphis. And uh, there's a big petrol in Memphis. At uh, West Memphis, Arkansas, I might stop there. In one mile, do take my laundry. Exit 98 B on the right to US 270 West. So, all right, let me uh, let me get over here to where we got to go and uh, check back in with you in a minute. We only got a couple more miles. All right, we are near where we got to be here. This. It's been a long time since I've been over here. Oh. Truck entrance. Arriving at 1392 Meltdown Road on the left. there all right let me go uh, check in see if this guy's pulling up all right let me go check in see what's going on I'll be right back
All right, uh, we're all loaded up. We're back over here at JJ's truck stop. So uh, let's take a look at what we got here. All right, what we have is um, reels of cable. Um, we got a total of 13 reels. Now uh, the video, you should have just saw a video of me loading it. Um, and the way that you chain these, or the easiest way, or most places will have a rod. Here, let's go to this one right here. We'll have a rod that goes through the, the hole. And then on the other side of the rod, there'll be either a little piece of chain or a little piece of rope that you hook, your ch hook the chain to, and then you pull the rod through. Now, once you get the chains through, what you wanna make sure is that the same chain is pulling on the front and then the, the same chain's pulling the back. So what you don't want them to do is to make an X pattern inside. So you want this chain, make sure that you have this chain is that chain, and then make sure this chain is that chain. So uh, and that they don't cross is what you don't want. So other than that, uh, the way they, they made cradles for this, they, uh, the four by fours aren't bolt, uh, nailed down, but the two by fours are. It's a pretty good system. It, uh, they, did, they didn't get too crazy with the nails, just a couple nails on each side, so that uh, it wasn't too crazy. Now, this one right here, uh, I used a total of 12 chains, and I actually needed 14, but they said straps are okay because of the, uh, it, the see the, the smooth hole right there? So this one, because uh, they said you could use straps or chains. I prefer to use chains on cable anything that rolls I like chains so if you notice the center one is the one that I have the straps on so that way if something should go wrong it'll roll into the other ones but uh, it's the same same technique with the straps is you want to make sure this strap is that strap over there so that you don't want them to cross now and then also when you're coming down you see the spool right there if you look, this winch is not directly under the pocket. It's over just a little bit so that the strap will come straight. So the strap will come straight onto the, uh, the winch right there. So, and that's not gonna hurt the strap. Strap's fine. There's no sharp edges up there. Strap's fine. So uh, that's good right there. Same thing. We got a total of about 30, 38,000 pounds so and it's just a little top heavy not too bad but we do need to be careful going around the corners same technique over here and like you saw in the video the rod will come through the rod will come through the hole and there usually be a piece of rope or a little piece of chain um, that you hook it to and then you pull the chains through and like I said the biggest thing is is make sure this chain is that chain is that they're the same chain uh, so that, uh, that's where they are same thing with the straps back here this is fine these are fine back here but uh we got the little one in the front up here but uh they require um i think today these are 61 or 62 inch reels the the diameter um, so uh, they require two chains the the factory that I picked these up requires two chains per reel so chains or straps so as you can see I used up all my all my chains in my headache rack yeah I get a lot of comments uh, about not having a headache rack on the trailer uh, most uh, most flatbeds in the United States have their headache rack mounted on the tractor um, if you look over there I don't know if you can see or not that guy's there he's got a head his headache rack is is on mounted on the back of the, the tractor so, uh, all right um, let's see here all right next stop is the uh, Petro in North Little Rock we're gonna get some fuel and then uh, we're gonna make our way uh, maybe on the other side of Memphis. We depend on how traffic goes, how bad it is. 
So, uh, but other than that, uh, that's what. It's gonna be all day driving um, tomorrow, uh, and then uh, Sunday, and then uh, we got three drops over by uh, Virginia Beach on Monday. So, all right, guys. Uh, talk to you in a bit. All right, we are coming into the Petro here in North Little Rock, Arkansas. We're, uh, we're going to get some fuel. We're just going to fill up one tank. Uh, that enough to get us over to uh, Tennessee. And then uh, once we get into Tennessee quite a bit, we'll, uh, we'll stop probably fill up both tanks before we head up into Virginia but yeah this Petro it can get busy in this Petro I don't stop here very often just because it's so busy but we need fuel and we're not gonna be here very long we need to knock out a couple hundred more miles I, I really need to get on the other side of Memphis. So that, that's what I need to do. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but that's what I need to do. So. Alright, let me get some fuel and uh, talk right. I'll be right back. All right, we got fuel. We're gonna get out of here now. We uh, put 90 gallons in. 90 gallons. That fill up. That filled up one tank. So that should get us about 550 miles somewhere in that neighborhood. Five, six, 2556. Uh, I haven't quite decided which way I'm going to go. I think I'm going to end up going uh, 40 to 81, 81 to 64, and over that way. Um, if I do go that way, we're going to stop over in White Pine, Tennessee, at the uh, at the pilot over there, and then uh, we'll fill up there. I'll double check. I'll double check the fuel prices, but that's usually the cheapest fuel until uh, we get up into Virginia. So, Alright, uh, just waiting in line. I will uh, check in with you guys when uh, we get stopped tonight. So, uh, talk to you in a little bit. Alright, we made it over here to... Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, or at the pilot truck stop. This is a big pilot truck stop. I'm uh, doing my logbook here real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. We actually did pretty good. We drove two, 275 miles since we left uh, the Petro over there in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. So we got into Tennessee about a, we're about about 140 miles inside Tennessee. So, uh, we didn't do too bad. We got about, no, oh, eight and a half hours on our logbook for tomorrow. So that should put us somewhere in Virginia on 81. Um, I'm doing my logbook so I can get out. Okay. Uh, other than that, today went pretty good. Actually, we got loaded, um, big reels. Don't have a reload out of Virginia. Not too worried about it. We got a lot of work to do on Monday. So the odds of getting a load on Monday or being able to load on Monday is going to be pretty slim. But um, we'll get something on Tuesday. So we still got plenty of time to uh, to find a load. I'm, I'm pretty sure something will pop up on Monday there. So, uh, but anyway, uh, it's a good day. I got to take Cali Dog out. It's been a while since we stopped. And uh, she's hungry. I'm hungry. Um, I got to take her out and um, thanks for watching and uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks.